it's BK on seven here and we're back with another video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, this would be a great time to do it. Click the red button down below. You see it? The, the big red button? Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Today's not your typical FIFA video. I'm changing up a little bit and I'm going to give you 10 facts about me. In case any of you didn't realise, I support Arsenal. The reason I support Arsenal is because my stepdad has since I was younger. I used to be a massive glory hunter supporting Chelsea and Liverpool. I used to have Chelsea and Liverpool football tops. Looking back at it now, I don't know why I did. I was the biggest glory hunter ever. I'm in my final year of school now, which means it's probably the most important year as I've all my GCSEs coming up. The subjects I picked is PE, business and art. The easiest subject out of these is probably business. I like PE though and hat and art. <laughs> and art I'm struggling to catch up on and there's lots of course with. If I could only eat one meal for the rest of my life, I'd probably be my grampy soup. Guys, I feel I feel for you that you haven't tasted it because if you tasted it, it's, it's just heaven. Like, that's all you need to know. Now it's coming up to winter, you'll make it on a regular basis as it, it's like a warm soup and it like it, it clears your body. It's just it's just amazing. Like you think I'm gassing, it's amazing. <laughs> when I was younger, we, when we, because I used to live in Chapstow, um, on the way to my grandpa's house, me and my sister used to be in the back of the car, and the windows used to fog up a lot, and it was so funny. We used to draw each other dressed up as poo, like, <laughs> and what I mean, how bad it was, it, like, it was like every single time we used to fight over it, caused so much arguments, and it, my mum used to pull over the car all the time because we used to be scrapping in the back. My favourite footballer is probably Lionel Messi. He's my inspiration. He does lots for club and country. He did announce his retirement from international football, but we all knew he was coming back. Come on. He's still young and he has a future ahead of him. He's in his prime at the moment. I've never, ever broken a bone in my body. Ankles, nose, fingers, toes, leg, arm. I've just never broken a bone in my body. And touch wood, I never do because I, I don't want to go through that pain. It, it sounds horrible and it looks horrible with an ugly cast on your arm or leg but shout out to people who have got cast because i'm not hating on you it's, i don't want a cast my biggest like dream for when i'm older is obviously a footballer but i don't think that's gonna come true i'm a good footballer but there's people out there who are absolutely fantastic and still don't make it so yeah more realistically i want to be an architect the reason i want to go into this is because it's a fantastic job um i love drawing i love designing and you get a lot of money from it too a lot of money. Although I haven't broken a bone in my body, I've had a seriously close experience to death. On a family holiday in Turkey years back, I'm talking maybe six, seven years, I experienced the worst thing that can ever happen to a human. I was swimming in the deep end with my sister and my cousin, and as I'm cocky and I think I'm the best, I decided to take off my life jacket. Bear in the mind I was about three foot tall. I, I was small, right? I could not swim. I've never swum before. And one minute I was swimming, next minute I was waking up, I woke up in a hospital bed, getting water pumped out of me. I was full of water, I drowned, I don't know how long I was under the water for, but it was a long time and all I can remember is waving my hands up in the air for a lady to help me and she was laughing. I think she thought I was messing around, but seriously, I hate that lady. This lady's watching this video, I hate you. But big up to the man who saved my life. He was a waiter and he was walking across the bridge, it was a bridge over the poor, fully clothed he had his phone in his pocket he had drinks in his hand he had food in his hand and he noticed that i was drowning and he jumped off the bridge and saved my life maybe given about 30 more seconds and i would have been dead i am so thankful for that moment if i could live anywhere in the world it would probably be new york it's the big city everyone wants to go there and it just looks amazing personally i haven't been there definitely will be going there in the future 100 percent even though this didn't happen to me I was 100% to blame for this. Um, sorry to my sister Shola because this is probably the worst dream you can have coming true. And she was about eight, was she? she I think she was eight or nine. And this happened to her. Luckily, it happened to her at that age because if it happened to her now, um, yeah, it'd be too late to um, to fix. Once we were in, um, on our bikes in the street, and I was behind her and she was in front. So I think I was around six and I was riding on my bike and I said to my sister, look, I have no hands, like I was doing no handed. But I got this confused with stabilizers. I don't know how. I was trying to show her that I had no stabilizers as I just had them removed, but somehow I got it mixed up with having no hands. So anyway, she looks back at me because she thinks I'm doing no handed. She's she's getting jealous, like she wants to see what's happening. But I'm actually not doing no handed. So my sister turns around and her bike like jammed, her brake jammed and she went over the handlebars, smashed her teeth, 
on the cube, loads of nails and glass and dirty stuff went in her mouth and she had to have all of her teeth removed, well half of them fell out, but the rest of them she had to have removed and luckily they were baby teeth as she was only about eight, so now she has perfect teeth. That is probably the worst thing because when you have a dream, I don't know if you ever had it, a bad dream where your teeth falls out and you wake up, it's horrible and I could imagine the pain she was in. She was absolutely screaming. So guys, that was the last fact. If you did enjoy this video, please smash the like button. Let's aim for 30 likes on this video. I'll be uploading weekly now until FIFA 17 comes out. So yeah, um, stay posted each week, probably every Thursday for a new video. This has been BKR and I'm out. Peace.